Let's go. Oh, the original cut. There it absolutely is. I might like it better than the 2020 version. What's going on YouTube? Back again with another review. I'm standing up this time, but you know, that's because I didn't feel like putting my chair in position, but you know, that's, you know, that's, 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 that's neither here nor there. If you made it this far, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It takes you, you know, no time, man. Hit that subscribe button, it helps me help the channel. Like I always say though, I'm gonna waste any more of your time. Now, if you're here, clicked on this video, you saw what this was all about. This shoe initially debuted in 1991 as a pack which came out with the rest of the Jordan 6s. It was the Jordan 6 Infrared, the Jordan 6 Carmine, the Jordan 6 White Infrared, and this shoe, the Air Jordan 6 Sport Blue. So check that thing out, man. Take a look at it. I got both shoes in my hand right now. I'm gonna go ahead and you know, toss this guy to the side. Eh? Similar in, in appearance. But of course, we got this beautiful Jordan 6 silhouette, which if you've seen uh, my other videos, you know all about them by now. They've got the spoiler, the 23 hidden somewhere in the design. And uh, what you're gonna notice about this one, that it's it's a, a leather Jordan 1. Now I'm trying to remember, excuse me, a leather Jordan 6. I'm trying to remember if any ones I've done so far, it looks like no. None of, none of the ones I've done so far have been a leather uh, material. They've either been suede or that 3M reflective, but this particular one is leather indeed. And it's pretty nice leather. It's not necessarily the softest. If you go back and look at my Fire Red 5 review, I was thoroughly impressed with the suppleness of that leather. This one is a little bit more stiffer, but you know, I don't expect those two to be comparable considering that it is 2020, the 30th anniversary of the Jordan 5. Now, this shoe, I saw it and I picked it up for maybe $180. And this shoe initially came out in 2014. Again, this goes as uh, a pack, if you will, as some of the OG original colorways that debuted in 1991. So the only particular difference with this one is it does have this all white upper, including down here on the uh, on the midsole. Down here, I'm sorry, excuse me, down here on the bottom. But on the midsole does have this sport blue color, as well as on the spoiler, the lace lock. And what I do like, and hopefully the camera's gonna pick this up, is that this, uh, I, I never know what to call it. I never know what to call it. But this tongue cow thing cover here is it, it is white, but it has some kind of maybe some some blue hint to it. It's got a little blue tint, a little tinge to it, which I think is really cool. I think this shoe is really dope. Uh, it's simple and it works. You know what I mean? It's a much more toned down Jordan Six, and you wouldn't think that it's an OG, but it particular, but it really is. Now because. 2021 is coming up and that's going to mark the 30th anniversary of the Jordan 6. I know we're getting the Carmines. I think we're going to get like a, a black and green, like an Oregon Ducks looking PE. But I wouldn't be um, surprised if this one made its, you know, its reemergence. That'll mark seven years since this shoe came out. And what I would really like this shoe to have had is that Nike Air on the back. Now, unfortunately, this one does have a stitch jump man on there. So, you know, you gotta take what you can get, but you know, good with the bad. I wouldn't be surprised if a Nike Air came out on this, partic this particular shoe. I'm not sure as I don't have the original one, if that particular one had a Nike Air on the back, but most of the other OGs I have, including um, infrared, the BMP, the reflection of a champion. Yeah, have the Nike Air. So it'd be cool if this, this OG colorway would get one. We do have this black rubberized tongue. You know, nothing in, uh, any particular about that. I'm gonna sit here in front of the camera. I don't think there's any, maybe, I don't know. You tell me, is there any 3M in this guy? You see any reflections? I can't really tell, but there's no 3M in it. On the inside, we do have a nice little, let me see what color is that? Oh, so the tongue, the uh, insole is black with a white jump in on the interior. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And one thing I really do like about the shoe, I told you, is that it always had those translucent icy bottoms. Now for this shoe being a 2014, which is now six years old, um, the yellowing is staving off pretty well, which I'm thankful for. You know what I mean? So that, that means the shoe does have a little bit of longevity to it. I told you my plan is eventually to give, you know, all my shoes to my son. Um, so 
the fact that these haven't started yellow yet is pretty cool with me. But uh, other than that, I don't have a whole lot to say about this one. The black, blue, and uh, white colorways are fine. And this particular one has this nice black and you know felt um, sock liner there. So like I said, it's, it's understated, but I think it's simple in its, in its design and it works. This is gonna be the contrast to the white infrared, which I'm gonna pick up. You know, I had a couple of chances to pick it up uh, over my birthday weekend, but the price, you know, the price wasn't really right. But I'm gonna get it as a contrast to this one. And then I think that'll just about make up, oh, I'm missing the car mines, but that'll make up my original Jordan 6 pack. So I'm gonna obviously get an on feed of these. I have rocked my stock. Uh, since, I, since I do have this on the bottom, you will see the sport blue jump man with the black uh, hint, well not the black hints, but the black everything with the translucent, you know, bottom. On the bu air bubble, it's just a clear see-through. No tint there, which would have been cool to have maybe a, a blue tint in there. But you know, they try to keep it true to the OG as possible. So that's about it, man. You know, I mean, not a whole lot to say. Um, check the on foot. Hope you enjoyed my other reviews. Um, really a fan of Jordan 6s. I told you uh, this is my favorite silhouette. You know what I mean? I actually saw my hair six video, cop the pair for my wife and myself. You know what I mean? Uh, Jordan 6s, I just love them, love them, love them. Oh, rating. So on a scale of one to 10, uh, I told you no Jordan 6 would start lower than a seven. And I, I'm gonna bump this one up to about an eight. And that's because I have one in my collection that I, you know, I'm not gonna rate too, too high. So this one is about eight to an eight and a quarter. You know what I mean? Uh, is it a must cop? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it. I keep telling you my videos. I'm gonna liquidate as time goes on. When I get too many pairs, I'm gonna liquidate some. I can't call this a must cop because I don't know if you have to have it, but I'm gonna keep it. Because again, the without question, <laughs> without question, those car mines of 2021 is a must. It's probably gonna be a double up, but that's gonna again consolidate my, my, my original pack of the OGs. So I gotta keep this one, if not nothing else, just for posterity and keeping the collection intact. I already got the infrared. Carmine's gonna come sometime this year. I'm gonna get those um, white infrareds. So this guy around out the pack. So it's a must cop for Jay Shoe Fanatic. Is it a must cop for you? You don't have to run out and go get this one. Prices are you know pretty stable. They are more in retail, but you should be able to get these you know as a, as a present or a gift or something. If you tell the person that you know that you, that you love in your life that you want a little something for it for yourself. But other than that. Um, again, hit the like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram. Uh, you see the address down below, J underscore shoe fanatic. This has been another Jordan 6. I got uh, two more to do after this, and I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, check the on feet, and I'm out of here, man. Thanks a lot.